you don't even realize what you have. Right now, as you're watching this video, what is in your possession? What is it that you own? It's not your clothes. It is not your car. It is not the house that you're in. It is not anything external in the environment. It is what makes you a God. It is the fact that you possess a body. Your body right now, as you're watching this video, contains hundreds of trillions of cells. Each of those cells has different parts, organelles they're called, which are doing very complex things as you watch this video right now. Your visual system is triggering thousands of synapses with tens of thousands of neurons that are triggering your memory and your emotions. In your body, if you just ate, your digestive system is acting to digest your food and absorb your food into your bloodstream. Hundreds of trillions of cells and you own them. Now, if that's not God, I don't know what is. Feel free to comment. If you can tell me something else that is what is God. So, that is why we are all gods. Some people realize and recognize that they are a god. Some people don't. Now, what can you do? What are some methods where you can realize or know if you've understood your godliness? Three ways, diet, sleep, and exercise. Let's start with diet. What do you put inside your body? What is your nutrition like? Are you being careful with what you put in your mouth? Are you getting the knowledge that is necessary to understand what your physiology is like? Let me give you some examples. Recently, I'm reading this book called Brain Maker. And this book is making me realize that the microbiome, which is the gut flora, which is basically the bacteria and other organisms in your gut, they make up what they call the second brain. I mean, you already know the first brain here, the central nervous system, but there is an enteric nervous system, a nervous system in your colon, in your large intestine, which is composed of bacteria, neurotransmitters that are signaling and communicating from one cell to the next, chemical messengers or hormones which are causing events to happen in different organs of your body. You own all of this, but are you taking care of it? Have you realized the importance of what you put in your mouth? I recently understood and, and actually read about and did some research in something known as a fecal transplantation. They essentially take the shit of somebody, probably your family member, and put it inside your body, put it inside your colon. And that has been seen to cure brain disease like ALS and autism. There's a very high correlation now, they found, with our diet, what we eat, and the brain diseases that a lot of us in the West suffer from. Anyway, I'm going to talk more about Brain Maker in another video when I finish the book and I learn more about the microbiome. But that is one way to know if you realized if you are a god. The second way is through sleep. Are you sleeping eight to nine hours every night? Do you have any kind of problems during sleep and why? It is not just being perfect and not ever having problem. If you realize that you are a god, then you will begin to recognize and research and learn about how to become a stronger version of yourself.
That is what a God is. So if you are not sleeping well, are you trying to figure out why? I'll give you a simple example for me. Last night I wore these uh, eye seals, these eye patches that I purchased from iEco.com. You know, 60 bucks, whatever, I, I wore them. And I had the most amazing hard morning wood of my fucking life last night. I woke up and there's fucking thing hanging out erect and I was walking around in my bedroom without any naked girl next to me. I had that kind of morning wood and it's not because of my diet, it's because of my sleep. I probably got some amazing REM sleep last night and I only slept like six, seven hours and I was fucking fresh. I usually sleep nine hours, so go figure. So the second one, as I said, is sleep. The third one is exercise. Now, some of you already know that I've been trying to activate my glute max because uh, I've been having problems using it. It's not really strong. My ass is fucking weak. So I've been trying to strengthen my glute max. And I've been doing these things called MATs, muscle activation techniques, which a neurosomatic therapist taught me, Aaron here in, in uh, Largo, really awesome person. And as I did these muscle activation techniques that he taught me, I started breathing into my balls better. As I just did now. And it was so smooth and so easy to breathe into my pelvic floor, into my balls. Now why was that? It's probably because I did it right after the muscle activation techniques. The reason I'm telling you this is because if you realize that you are a god, then you will also take care of your body. You will begin to recognize and realize your weaknesses and you will strengthen those parts of your body, those parts of your mind to again become a stronger version of yourself. Now, these are the three ways you can kind of, it's like a metric that you can use to determine if you've realized this or not. So if you're eating crap all the time, if you're not sleeping well, if you are not exercising and going out and recognizing what is, that, is it that you're weak at, then you have not internalized or recognized your godliness. Now let me give you some pretty neat techniques that you can do out and about to try to get to that godlike nature, that godlike behavior. The first one is you need to give yourself the same brain disease that I gave myself and better yet, I'm going to give you that brain disease if you really want it. The brain disease is known as aprochitis. It is basically saying hi to every single motherfucker you meet. Now this person could be a, an actual human being, boy or girl, it could be a fucking plant, it could be a dog, it doesn't matter. You go, hey, what's up? To every single person you see, doesn't matter if they see you, doesn't matter if they hear you, doesn't matter if they fucking acknowledge you, that's not the point. You're outcome independent. You are saying hi to every single person every single living thing that you see, that you encounter. Why? Fuck, hundreds of benefits. The first one is that you are a god. You're becoming a god if you haven't recognized it, that you are a god. You're becoming to realize your godliness. And gods recognize the other gods around them. Gods say hello to the other gods around them. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to go around and try to... Hey, what's up? Say hi to... Oh man, just recording a cool video. As always, man, you know me. So, see? He doesn't know me. <laughs> it's okay. So check it out. You want to say hi to everyone even if they are not acknowledging you. It doesn't matter because the point is to do it for yourself. Now, that is the first technique, aprochitis. Boom! I just gave you the disease too. Go out and try it. 
Now, the second thing this is gonna help you with is that when you encounter that important person, right? So let's say you're at a meeting and you encounter a CEO that you are afraid to talk to. Because you are saying hello to every single person that you encounter, you will not have that fear, that social anxiety to talk to that CEO. Same thing goes for girls. If you are saying hi to everyone, you are saying hi to fatties, to Uggs, whatever you call them, they even are gods, you will say hello to that 10, that Victoria's Secret model or Kate Upton that you encounter. So that's the benefit of saying hi to everyone. That is approach number one. That is the first technique you can do. The second technique is, you know how in Independence Day or in other movies where human beings get abducted by aliens, there's this spotlight on you? I want you to go around in the world where this spotlight is always on you. You wanna go around and interact with people with this spotlight on you, which means that you are in the world to play. You are in the world as a player of sorts. You are going around and you are recognizing different people's godliness, but with this spotlight, you are kind of independent. The world has been given to you to explore, to research, and to learn from. That is the second technique that I would like you to do. The third technique, which is probably the most important, is stop judging yourself. You are a god. Gods don't judge themselves, okay? Gods don't judge other people either. And the way you're gonna do that is by living in the moment and beginning to think and realize that this 100 years you're gonna live, these 80 years, 60 years, fuck, you can die right now and I can die right now. The only thing you ever have is the present moment and that this life is a passage to eternity. If you believe that and if you live your life like that, then there's no judging. These 100 years that you're gonna live are a small fraction, a small fraction of the infinite years that your soul is gonna live, that you're gonna live. <laughs> your godly soul. So there is no judgment. If some shit happens, somebody fucks you over, you have suffering of sorts, something happens, it's okay, don't judge yourself. Don't judge yourself for doing mistakes it's okay the present moment is all that matters so that is the third technique live your life without judging and live your life without always struggling to become perfect because you already are thanks for listening this is Dr. Stostrone, and I will see you next time.